Parks in The Sims 4 are often a little basic, but they don't have to be. We're about to look at 8 different park ideas or concepts that you can consider adding to your game to spice things up and improve your gameplay. Let's get started. First up is creating a moonlight cinema, and watching a movie outdoors can be an awesome date activity for Sims, or it can even just make for a cute outing. While not essential, having an outdoor movie sized screen such as the backyard TV projector from the Little Campus kit or the Projectotron outdoor movie screen from the Moving Hangout Stuff Pack does really help to bring this to life. That being said, almost any television can work. If you have the Seasons expansion pack then I would definitely suggest having a sim upgrade the screen to be unbreakable, because otherwise it's going to break whenever it rains which will be a pain to deal with outdoors. I mean no one wants the screen to break mid-movie. There is more to an outdoor cinema than just a screen and some seats. You can make the space really cosy with lots of cute lights and lanterns, and having a little indoor space for movie signs, toilets and a small kitchen where sims can grab a drink or some snacks works so well too, as does a popcorn station if you've got the movie hangout stuff pack. And all of this will help to bring the movie setting to life. As it's a park, some general places to hang out at as well as some play equipment works nicely too, and it helps give the space a few more uses as well. Overall, a moonlight cinema will have a rather unique feel when compared to your general park, and it allows for heaps of cute moments between friends, families and lovers. Next up is to create a campground, or even a nude campground if you wanted to spice it up a bit by adding the clothing optional trait to the lot. Whether you're embracing the fully clothed or the nude option, for this you'll ideally want a pack such as Outdoor Retreat, Snowy Escape, Batu, Horse Ranch or Growing Together, which come with either tents or sleeping bags. You of course want a campfire too, which comes with Outdoor Retreat, Horse Ranch and Little Campers, and bonfires that come with Get Together, Island Living or Werewolves also ties in really well. As it's a campground you'll certainly want some amenities, including a public bathroom and showers, and of course a grill that sims can use to prepare food and some picnic tables to hang out at while eating feels essential too. Not to mention that if you've got the Cottage Living expansion pack then you can bring a picnic basket over and set this up on a picnic bench as well. A campground concept is pretty open and there are so many activities that can help to bring the park to life, adding in a telescope or two to allow sims to live their best stargazing life, as well as creating a pond before plonking a fishing allowed sign inside also complements the campground so well. If you're wondering why the hell you're meant to care about the fishing allowed sign then I've got you covered. After placing this in a pond, sims can then use it to manage what fish appear in the pond, provided that you have at least one of a fish type to kick off the stocking process, thus letting you fill the pond with a custom array of fish. So if you wanted a trout and salmon pond then you can make it happen, or if you want the pond to be filled with tree fish then that's absolutely an option too. In short, you'll now have control over what fish you can catch in the pond. And of course, if you wanted to get saucy under the stars then tents, woohoo bushes and even showers can all help to facilitate that, though know that you will need the Discover University expansion pack for shower woohoo. All in all, there is so much that you can do with a campground, be it nude or otherwise. It can make for a great budget holiday spot for your sims to visit for a few days, or alternatively just be somewhere to hang out at for a few hours. We're going to take a look at a festive park next, or a park that's been set up to feel like a bit of a pop-up festival that sims can spend a day at. It can be great for families to visit, or even for sims to travel to on a date as well. In my own game I made this style of park as a winter wonderland, and yes, this works best with seasons. To fit the wintry theme, I added in an ice rink, as well as a stall and eating area where sims can grab a hot beverage and a bite to eat. There's a playground for kids to enjoy, and to bring the space to life I've added in lots of wintry themed lights and decorations. If you have seasons and you're going for a festive theme that depends somewhat on the weather, then you can also add Dr. June's weather control device to the lot which lets you control the weather provided that you don't mind the risk of electrocution. You know, high risk, mediocre reward, which is just the way I like my sims to live. But it lets me make it snow at my winter wonderland no matter the season that sims visit, which I love. Moving on to a quick idea now being a water park. 
If your sims want another thing to do on a hot summer's day, then the idea here is to have lots of water activities for your sims to enjoy at a park. Well, besides an actual pool, because I felt that that would intrude on pool lot types. To be fair though, if you wanted to, then you could probably incorporate a lot of the water park activities on a pool lot type as well. The water emitters from growing together really do bring a water park to life, and in terms of bills, they are insanely expensive to run on a residential lot, so it's much better to pop them on community lots. Water slides from the backyard stuff pack, and even just your general spa can work too. I really love the water slide animations, and I feel this object often gets overlooked, so this kind of park gives them a place to shine. The Seasons expansion pack also brings with it a few things that can work well at a water park, including the water balloon bucket to allow for water balloon fights, as well as sprinklers and small kiddie pools, all of which will just give your sims more to do on this lot. The fifth idea that we'll explore is a meditation or zen style park and you will ideally want the spa day game pack for this, as it'll give you access to yoga mats and meditation stools. Not only are yoga and meditation rather fun and great for training a sim's wellness skill, but after you reach level 2 wellness, then it's pretty easy to take on an instructor role which can see your sim earn quite a bit of money from running classes, and we do love a side hustle. I added in a very small gym here as well, both because it gave me a place to add in some bathrooms, and also because it made the park a bit more useful by allowing sims to train up their fitness skill here too. Because it's a super relaxing space, I also added in an easel so that if sims want to channel that calm energy into an artwork, then they absolutely can. Next up, we'll look at creating a wedding venue. Of course, the main requirement for this kind of park is to have a wedding arch and some seating that sims can use to watch the procession. But you can of course take this a little further in ensuring that you have everything you need for the after party, including banquet tables if you have access to them from the My Wedding Stories or luxury party stuff, as well as areas for your sims to dance and enjoy themselves, and of course a bar where they can grab a drink too. If you have cottage living, then a barn style venue can be really gorgeous and it allows you to have lots of cute animals roaming around while you tie the knot. The flock of wild birds and the wild rabbit home objects will see you have birds and rabbits around the place while you're on the lot. But also keep in mind that if you want to have other farm animals like chickens, cows or llamas, then you'll have to bring them from home yourself. That being said, farm animals definitely aren't essential for a park that's made to be a wedding venue. Moving on now to a stray sanctuary. And you will need the Cats and Dogs expansion pack for this park idea. While you can set it up as a park, I actually like to make this one a national park, which means it'll be visited by other sims much more rarely. And that's because sims aren't the draw card here, rather pets are. For this nature themed park, you'll want to ensure that you add the cat hangout and dog hangout out lot traits to it, and these will attract stray cats and stray dogs to the lot respectively. You can then visit and hang out in a relatively private space, but you can also use it as a lot to travel to when you want to adopt a stray pet. Naturally, lots of stray cats and dogs that you can get to know will congregate here, and then provided you become close friends with these animals, you'll even be able to adopt them into your own household. And now for the final park idea being a community garden. Now it's worth noting that if you've got the Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack, then you can make pretty well-functioning community gardens through community space slots that have been voted to become a community garden. But you don't necessarily need Eco Lifestyle to make a community garden. By simply creating a cute garden area with lots of planters, sims will then be able to visit and plant all sorts of things on the lot. And once these plants are grown, then this can become a very useful lot that sims can travel to to get their hands on various plants easily and this is super helpful to have in your game. Note that generally townies won't autonomously plant things, so you'll have to be the one kickstarting the garden by planting various produce. While an outdoor space absolutely works, if you have the Seasons Expansion Pack then you can also consider a greenhouse for this style of lot, as plants placed indoors will be considered sheltered and thus grow all year round, which is very helpful seeing as different seasons can really mess with your plants. Now just before finishing up, I want to give a very quick mention to basketball courts and hoops from the City Living Expansion Pack, as well as the Wishing Well from Romantic Garden Stuff. Both of these objects can easily be incorporated 
incorporated into parks and they can be lots of fun to use. The wishing well in particular allows Sims to make all sorts of wishes and these can have some rather extreme outcomes, both positive and negative. It's an object that flies under the radar that I absolutely recommend making use of more. And with that, we're at the end. That's eight creative park ideas to consider making use of in The Sims 4. Feel free to share any of your own ideas in the comments below should you wish to, and also know that some of the gardens from the video will be up on the gallery if you wanted them in your own game. And as always, I hope you have an amazing day. See you later.